Skiing Championships at the Olympic Oval in Richmond. That's our first competition this year, and we're really excited. We'll do our best. Stay tuned. Clean up. So we check in in a half an hour, which means all this warm up is going to be like we're going to go from one thing to another. We're not going to take our time and all that like we usually do. So just make sure you warm up. Then we're going to do the two cheer jacks. We're going to stretch. Kat, you can leave stretch until Ash gets here if you don't like to do it. I don't care. And then we're going to mark through the routine twice. Okay? And then we're just going to get ready and check in. It's going to take us about a half an hour. So just make sure that you're not dilly daddling. Run with your ride or die. Find your ride or die. Where y'all at?
we still have a bunch of sprained ankles and injuries today, so we're going to um, water her down so Danica won't be doing any tumbling or jumps or jazzy Lexington. And then we still have um, Sierra, who is her knee and ankle, so a little watered down for a few of the athletes today to keep them safe and nurture their injuries so that they're good for the new year. Ready? It's more like the first competition of the year, the excitement of the season starting, people watching them for the first time. And um, it's actually what you want to happen in the warm-up room, so get it out, out here. Um, they have it in them, so they, they have what it takes. Just, just got to stay calm and uh, trust their bodies, that their body knows what they need to do, and uh, get out there and just let it take over. So right now they're just thinking too much. So yeah, and really, if they stay calm and they just take one part of the routine at a time, they'll be fine. Everybody circle up, hold hands. You're going to count through your routine and visualize. Okay? Just as a whole like this. So count through the whole thing and visualize it in your mind. Then we're going to do a mark through and make your body so warm. competition's behind, so the girls are getting cold now, which really sucks, so just trying to get them rezoned, refocused.
Just the flyover, smart decision, Emma. Um, I mean, that was a good decision. Individual skills, there were a few individuals that just need to go to the gym and work it out. Um, but this is, this is the best full out run that we have done to date. And we couldn't ask more of you as coaches. And I do have the video coming. I will let you guys watch it. She's coming to find me, Jade from Senior 2. Yeah. And you guys, you know, the other thing is, you guys, you, I was watching rock stars, and this is a great way to start our journey. You guys took the floor with such confidence and calmness, and you calmed us down. It was, it was fun. It was really yeah. fun to watch, too, okay? And it, just know that the next time we step out of this, we come and become better. We get better and better and better. This is the best we've been to keep going higher. So that's our goal be. As far as, like, stunting goes, if you guys were to watch, like this competition last year, the year before, the year before, all four years I've been coaching. This is the best we've done stunting wise. I think we had a few more issues maybe with individual stuff, but overall it is a team sport and it's great that the team stuff is the best we've ever been for this time of the year. Congrats to you guys. I don't need to say anything to the camera that I didn't see to say to them. Um, it's it's December 12th, and um, this is the best we've done at this competition, a local competition where we arrive and there's not a lot of stress. There was a half an hour between they finished their warm up and they went on the floor. I honestly thought it wasn't going to go that well. Um, I'm pleased because when you all watch the video and all see things like, okay, when she's upside down, the legs need to be like wider apart, or we need to point our toes right there. Like that needs to. But like now, that confidence that they're going to have coming from this event, knowing that their first time out with all the pressures of being an ice queen and all the people who made this big, huge decision to move across the country and today was the first day they were out as an ice queen. That shows so much potential for our season, honestly, because there's a lot of stress and they handled today so well and we're only going to get better now because they're going to have the confidence that they know they can go out and hit and we're going to start hitting strong, not not so soft. We're going to just really work on hitting strong and being precise and I think it's the start of a great season. I'm super happy.